Hey everybody, I'm Holly Love. I'm Rich Bonaducci. And you are watching Talk 365. And we are on location at the Outdoor Adventure and Gear Expo in Southtown Exposition Center. Come on along with us. Yes, we are here at the Southtown Exposition Center at the Outdoor Adventure and Gear Expo. We are super excited to be here. Um, I know you're dying to get in there, but I just have to say this really quick because it's the time of year when we get to go and do events and be on location. So sure. this is going to happen a lot. And if you have a really cool event and you want us to come, call us because we love to do this. We love to get out of the studio. It's stuffy in there. It's beautiful outside and it's beautiful in there. Let's go. Okay. You know, I love getting outdoors, but sometimes you do want to sleep someplace that isn't outdoors. We're going to chat with Paul from Equipped Expedition Outfitters about something I think is really cool. This actually fits into a truck that you own already, like a bed of a truck. Tell me a little bit about this product right here. Well, this is a, a camper made by Four Wheel Campers out of uh, Northern California. They've been around for over 40 years now, and they build lightweight off-road campers for any size pickup that you have. So my problem is I'd love an RV, I'd love these kind of things, but they're very expensive. And sometimes even the trailers, you already have to own this massive vehicle to tow the thing. But this looks like a regular sized truck right here. Yeah, it is. Uh, anything from a Toyota Tacoma in size, a midsize up to the full size trucks. And this one is for the Tacoma right here. Yes, it is. Okay, so basically they have built this incredible camper into a little shell that fits right into the back of a truck. Tell me a little bit about this one specifically, all the stuff that's in here. Well, it, uh, it sets up, it has a, um, a sink in it, a two burner stove, a refrigerator, a furnace, solar capacity, two batteries on board, hot water system, king size bed, list goes on. Not to mention this canopy right over our heads, which as you mentioned, it folds up. Yes, it does. It folds around onto one side of the vehicle and opens up on two sides of the vehicle. It gives you a lot of shade. Very nice. So you could just strap this thing onto the back and then be out, out here camping and whatnot. If it starts to rain a little bit, gets too hot, it just expands out almost like a fan, like an umbrella almost. Absolutely. And there is a wall set for it too, so you could then close it if you wanted more square footage for your camper. Oh, so these poles right here, you could actually enclose this. Yes, there's a wall set that it attaches to the awning so that this would be an interior space for your camping as well. Okay, so this is for the Tacoma, but you make these for almost any kind of truck? Any size, uh, full size, mid size, six foot bed, eight foot bed, you name it, plus some uh, flat bed options as well. So if people want to know more about this, where do they go online? Uh, you can go to our website at equipped1.com, that's E-Q-U-I-P-T, the number one, dot com. Or you can go to the Four Wheel Campers website, which is 4wh.com. Cool. I would do it. Okay, we found the adventure bus, and we found Eric Stoffer. Kellett is gone, though. What's up with that? Uh, Kellett has work. Kellett, you good boy. Now, Kellett is my nephew, and this is a crazy story because we love Maverick on Talk 365, and we heard all about this bus thing apart from Maverick, when did you guys join? Because I was getting Snapchats yesterday from Kellett with the bus and Maverick and a whole world was colliding and my partner Rich Bonaducci was also sending it to me. What happened? Uh, so the whole Maverick thing started about a year ago when we sent him a video of what we think we could do for them as a sponsor. And there's a long gap between then and the time we actually came a sponsor because there's like a lot of legal issues with uh, sponsoring uh, minors. But we've been... The, actually sponsored since about November and since then we've just done mainly renovations and a couple events for them and we've been having fun with it. So how did you boys come up with this plan because first of all when I heard you had a bus I'm like what? I see a bus in my sister's driveway. Where? How? You were like fixing golf carts or something? Yeah so we got the money to buy the bus because we started working on golf carts. We'd buy old golf carts, fix them up, sell them and from there we were able to get the money to buy the bus and we've always just kind of wanted to buy a bus. We didn't know 
kind of how we, we didn't have the Mavericks direction when we bought the bus. But we bought you've the bus. always kind of just wanted to buy a school bus. That's just like been your dream. Yeah, we've all kind of had that idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I I didn't realize that was Kellett's dream. I'm glad yeah. to finally be brought in on that. Okay, so your dreams have come true. Where did you find said bus? Said bus was found uh, on KSL. Uh -huh. We bought it from a, a river rafting company. When we got to it, it had a wrap on it, oh. a river rafting wrap. So we peeled that all off, and it was left with this ugly yellow-white thing. Uh -huh. So we just got done painting it, and now it's it looking scary. pretty clean. So the main plan is we wanted to do a, about a six-week tour for our senior trip. We'll live in the bus full-time. Uh -huh. And, yeah, they're giving us the money to fund it, but we're building it ourselves. Wow. Okay, so do you have any hot point destinations you want to tell me about? I'm not quite sure, but we're not really in a hurry when we travel. We just like traveling. So the plan for the inside is we want to we have to sleep eight, which is kind of difficult with you know 225 square feet. But we're finding great ways you know make storage, seating, and then also works into a bed. Okay, so this is obviously storage and seating and a bed. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then how, I mean, is there any running water or restroom? Being a girl, that's like my number one question. So we decided against the restroom, and that was actually somewhat with the girl's choice. And the running water is our next project. And like a fridge and a stove, or are you foregoing all that and just fast fooding it? Uh, we're going fridge and sink and microwave, no stove. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's all you really need. Yeah. Okay. That's, all, that's how we cook all our food anyways. Okay. Girlfriend, what are you thinking? No bathroom. You did not, you got voted off. Um, I actually voted for no bathroom because, you, you know, boys, <laughs> you know what I mean? It would just be gross? Yeah, I mean, because our room is going to be back there, so. All right, kids, well, I'm excited to, like, see this whole thing happen for you, um, and can't wait to follow you on the adventure. When does it start? Uh, it started now. We, you know, do our many own adventures here and there and just work up and work up until, you know, our big senior trip. Okay, when is the big senior trip? The big senior trip will be next summer. We're still oh, juniors in high school. Wow. I did not see. I just assumed you guys were already done. I'm really glad, though, because I felt like I'm, I'm getting old, but now I'm still young. If Kel is only a junior, I'm still a baby. We're good. Kaylin, I don't know about the no bathroom thing, though. I don't, uh, that's terrifying to me still. There's ways. There's ways. If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. Continuing on at the Adventure and Outdoor Gear Expo, we are chatting with Cameron Paul about this nifty device right here. Tell us a little bit about this. So I'm the creator of the Arm Pack. I wanted more storage while I was out trail running without uh, having to shove everything in my pockets. I really wanted the storage of a fanny pack without carrying a fanny pack. So I designed it to have five pockets. My phone pocket is actually a stretchy fabric. It allows you to navigate your phone easier and it carries a lot of different models of phones. Also, it's got three pockets on the back, your full-size power bar, all of your different IDs, your pepper spray, your inhaler, your chapstick, all your stuff. And because I'm a trail runner, I built a sweatband right into it. <laughs> so this thing has like about five pockets in it. It does. Right off the top of the back. And you don't have to use a certain kind of phone with it. That stretchy thing fits all different kinds of phones. And if it rings, you can just, oh, you can grab it. You can listen to music because it's nice and close to your ear while you're running and all that stuff. And, of course, carry money and all of these other things. And on top of it all, it doesn't jiggle all around no. the way a fanny pack would. There's no jiggle. To me, that was really important. As a runner, I think um, jiggle can ruin your day. Sure. So I really wanted something based on compression technology as opposed to a big strap or letting things just roll around in your bag. And you won a design award for this, didn't you? I did. Grow Utah um, gave me a generous award. They've also provided help with business and a lot of just different support in helping with how to grow appropriately as a small business. You know, I started this business with my mother. Uh, we still uh, make them ourselves today. We designed them together and we make them together. She's been sewing my whole life so I bugged her when I realized I hated my Velcro armband and she helped me create my design and we're growing today. 
I just got into my first store last week, and I'm growing into more stores as I move forward. You mean your first physical store? Yeah, my first physical store. Where is that? It's the Alta Canyon Sports Center. It's the Sandy, uh, Sandy Rec Center. And then I'm moving into some stores in Oregon as well. That's awesome. Now, you designed this. How many designs did it take for you to get to this one here? This is about 25, 26 designs in. Um, I have a big pile of old designs that don't work and old material that just don't work. I ended up just going to the fabric store, touching everything, making sure it felt good. I wanted it to be machine washable, so it was important to find that kind of product. But mostly it was just testing designs, styles, and uh, color options. Yeah. Uh, uh I have something like this, but it has a kind of plastic front to it, yes. and oftentimes the uh, when you're running, there can be a mist inside yes. of there. Condensation collects inside of there on your phone, doesn't do it with this, and when you wash that thing, it falls apart. Not so with this, huh? Correct. That's one thing that was a huge problem was condensation on your phone is horrible. Also, plastic windows will hold your heat in, and that's a problem. You really want to have, with the fabric pocket, that's going to give you a lot more breathability. And to me, that was really important to the design. It also allows it to be completely machine washable because the whole thing is completely fabric. Yeah, we came here yesterday to do some recon and we bought one. That's how good this is. Now, if folks want to know more about this, you have a, a presence online. Where do they go? Yes, my website is thearmpack.com. You can check out uh, my different models, my different colors, as well as learn a little bit more about my company on my blog. And then go run it and, go and run. enjoy it. Bam, here you go, the Dectagon. <laughs> what shape is it? Uh, it's not a hexagon, it's a Dectagon. It's not an octagon, it's a Dectagon. <laughs> so tell me about this a little bit. When I first walked up to it, I thought, hey, that's a cool little stage thing, but it's so much more than that. It is. It's actually a modular, portable, elevated deck. It's great for outdoor use. You can use it in sand, mud, dirt. Uh, snow, it sets up easily, uh, it's portable, it's easy to clean, it's made from recycled plastic. Uh, each one of these tiles will hold a thousand, uh, 500 pounds of weight. Uh, it's portable and uh, it's great for any type of needing clean surface in the outdoors. So uh, it sounds like there's a story behind this. Did you go camping and somebody complained that you're tracking stuff everywhere? Uh, yeah, there's there a little complaining. We were actually with some friends and they were RVing and it was with a husband and wife and the husband, they were, we were in an RV and the husband set out the tent, or not the tent, the uh, outdoor rug and was getting out all the camping gear and within 15 minutes the wife Kim was yelling and screaming at Brad because of all the mud that was on there. Hey Brad and Kim, you know who you are. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, anyways, Brad was getting yelled at by Kim because there was all the dirt was in their RV, and so we came to the idea that we needed something that wouldn't be a catch-all like the outdoor rugs are. So we needed something that was made of plastic, something that was portable, and something that was easy to clean. And so the birth of Dectagon came. Now, when I first walked up to this, I thought, oh, this is like a deck you can put in the, your backyard Absolutely. and maybe use it, you know, pour concrete or whatever. But, but why would you even do that? Because you could just take this with you when you move from that house. Absolutely. So the cool thing about this is you can use it at your house. You can use it uh, camping. You can use it for like a concert, any kind of temporary flooring that you need. It's nice because it's elevated. It's, it uh, sits three inches off the ground. So if there's any moisture, you can... Uh, you're away from like the mud and the dirt and the moisture. Right. Now, you got a couple different sizes. This one right here is for like camping showers, right? Yes. So we have our uh, our shower, we call it our clean deck. It's two pieces. It's about six square feet. It allows you to use for an outdoor shower. You can use it as a, like a door, like a mat to in and out of your tent. You can use it even as like a doormat to your RV. Um, it's basically, it's lightweight, it's portable, it's easy to use. Um, and that kind of gets people introduced to Dectagon and how great it is to keep the dirt out of their campers and trailers. And we got this other one that you use right here. This is called the Cozy. This one is about, how big is this one here? This one is about a nine by five, nine feet by five feet. It's about 45 square feet. And uh, it comes in a travel bag. So everything comes in a nice canvas bag that you can just take wherever you want to go. And you got the big end. How big is that one? That one is a nine feet by 10 feet and it is uh, 90 square feet. Now, I see that you have kind of edgings for some of them, so you make it a nice even shape, like right over there. But yes. if you wanted to, I could buy a couple cozies or a couple big ones and make a really big one, couldn't I? You absolutely could. As big as the sky's the limit with this. You could have a thousand of these pieces and cover this entire uh, facility if you wanted to. So this whole one right here, 
this cozy just comes in like a couple of boxes like this. It comes in two boxes like that and it gives you everything you need, all the edging pieces. It even comes with these little rubber uh, holes to plug it up so if women are wearing high heels camping by chance. Well, when you're done, all in this bag. Yep. There's the travel bag. Okay, now the other day, we talked to you the other day, you got to show me how quickly you can do this kind of thing right here. So we'll take it apart really quick. Everything, everything stacks inside of it itself. So when you're out camping and you've got a, a solar shower set up or something like that, that's how quickly you can set that thing up and get yeah, all cleaned let's, up. Let's set it up real quick. Do it, let's go back. The, the, kid, the husband is totally dirty. The wife's mad and she needs to hose off her husband. So, so this together, put a little bit of pressure on here like this. Twist. Yes. Twist. And voila. What a great idea. So times that by about five and you've got one of those. Exactly. <laughs> I think these are awesome. You know what else this thing does? Instant height. That's awesome. Oh, look at it. Look at how yeah. tall you are. Wow. Look at that. Wow. The peach is great. That is awesome. Look at that guy. Okay, so if people want to know more about this, where do they go online? Dectagon.com, and it's D-E-C-K-T-A-G-O-N.com. Excellent. Check yes. that out. I just yes. carry one Dectagon around with me, and all of a sudden, I am 5'10", baby. I for Dectagon. Yeah! You See that? Know. So I many uses. Our set, we need to like put up with those things on little razors. Now watch this. That's going to be perfect. Aww. Now my heels make me Aww. too short or too tall. Aww. See? You Dectagon makes people happy. I love them. <laughs> okay, keep filming. Hang on. Hang on. We're going to do something for you. Yes. We're going to make you a happy newscaster. I don't even know what your title is. What is your title? I don't know. Producer, shooter, editor, host, sales. I don't know. There you go. Oh, oh wow. For you. I love you. <laughs> you can take this everywhere. Yes. I will carry this Thank everywhere you. I go. Do you want to put your sticker on it? Uh, no, it's, it's, it's stamped, stamped right, right there. Okay. Right there. <laughs> so now everywhere you go, people are going to ask you, what is Dectagon? You're going to say, it's my three inch lift kit. You should go check on their website. I have multiple say this. uses for it. <laughs> It's gonna be me. I'm gonna be like, hold on, hold on. Seriously, there, there's your, there's your. And welcome to Talk 365. I'm Holly Love. <laughs> and I'm suddenly tall. Yeah, <laughs> girls, I love you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Not yours. Yeah, but not my university feels so impersonal. Take a look at WGU. A faculty mentor works with you from day one to graduation. That sounds great. Would you like to try some mouse? Are they gluten free? WGU, it's a new kind of view. Continuing on at the Outdoor and Adventure Gear Expo, we have the MPAC. Yeah. What does M stand for? What's the MPAC? Uh, Mobile, Miraculous, Amazing. It's uh, the actual company name is Empower Gear. And so, you know, we're like, hey, what goes with Empower Gear MPAC? You know, it's a minimalist, mobile chess carrier for And awesome. Yeah, awesome is our new work that we just came up with. Okay. Yep, so this is fantastic for uh, any active activity because what it does is you can adjust it here. Okay. And then you can adjust it right here so you can really decide where you want to go. It sort of offers a little extra support, right? Like if we forgot your sports bike. Right. There you go. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Work yeah. yeah. Extra sports bike. <laughs> I, I probably won't do that, but you know. You don't want to? Ooh, bro. Yeah, yeah, this is a, it's a smartphone chess carrier. And so this is your smartphone that just goes right here. I like that. Yeah. And so it's super easy if you want to use your phone and you want like a hands free experience. I mean, it works as vinyl, it's protected from like rain and dirt and sweat and everything like that. Um, We've got a pocket right here for keys, credit card, and this is the charger. So if your phone dies, it's really easy to just charge your phone while you're on the go. I think it's super awesome when you're out snowboarding, biking. The the you ears, this is out. this is inside of the back? So you can actually use any pair of headphones with it. And so I've just created a way, a cable management system. And so your cables go in here and then it connects up with your phone in the front. And so that way your headphones are secured right next to your ear. So when you're out running or hiking or whatever you're doing, your cables aren't getting everywhere. You can use Bluetooth with it, that's fine. But if you do have the wired headphones, there's a way to manage 
And it looks like you have some reflectors both in the front and the back for like safety for running yeah. alongside of a road and whatnot. Yeah, this is actually a prototype because we're going to be launching a Kickstarter campaign, so we're going to probably be looking more on the look and feel of it. But this is functionality wise, this is going to be pretty close. Look, that just popped right off yep. in case I need to grab it. Yes. This is fun. Yeah. Well, cool. So if folks want to know more about it or contribute to the Kickstarter or whatnot, do you have a presence online? Yeah, What's the address? Just go to Empower Gear and Empower is spelled. With, uh, an M. With an M. Yes, M-P-O-W-R. There's no E. Like, we scared. Okay. There's no E and T. Wait, yeah. there is. It's all, it's all no spelled in the It's empowergear.com, and then you'll see there's a landing page right there for the impact, and so you just get on there and sign up for our list, and then we'll send you a link when we're ready to go. Great. Get on there. Get online. There Check it go. out. This is a great idea. Yeah, it gets people on bikes, gets people that aren't really experienced with bikes uh, and some exposure to it and puts a lot of smiles on a lot of faces. I, I was smiling going around that track. This is great stuff. So you, so if I came out to a store and I'm like, I don't know what kind of bike to get, you guys can kind of steer me. You we, have, we have lots of experts at the store. We'll be glad to help anyone pick the right kind of bike. We'll definitely get you on the right bike for what you want to do and the right size of bike, which is really important. I was just going to say that because sometimes I end up getting on someone's bike. I'm like, this is, the, right now, I'm, my voice is a lot higher than it should be <laughs> for this bike. But, um, but uh, so you'll, you'll, you know, you'll help people of all different sizes get a bike that is comfortable for them to ride. Of course. That's our goal is to get someone on the right bike for what they want to do, make sure it's the right size, and make sure it's going to work for them for years to come. Okay, so where do the folks go? Where's your physical location? We're in Sandy, Utah. Our address is 2073 East, 9400 South. And if folks want to check you out online, what's your address there? We're SaltCycles.com. That's it? Just get on there? Do you need to set up an appointment to come in for that kind of thing or just show up at the store? Show up at the store. We'll be happy to have you in there. We'll greet you with a smile on our face. We'll show you exactly what you're looking for. So if I do end up getting a bike from, from you folks, uh, what about maintenance? maintenance? What about like ongoing stuff I might need? Some of the best mechanics in the game work at Salt Cycles. When you buy a bike from us, we give you free tune-ups and adjustments for a year. And then even if you didn't buy your bike from Salt Cycles, we're happy to help out any make, any model, any bike. And I'm assuming you got all kinds of accessories and things there. I mean, I, I, I used to bike for years just around town without gloves. And I thought, ah, oh, people don't wear gloves. But now I love wearing those gloves because after a while, the handlebars, that can really get to you. We don't want that junk all over your hands when you show up to work or to your friend's house or to the, the store to pick up a drink. So we have definitely anything from gloves to helmets to sunglasses to nutritionals, everything you want and need to ride your bike and get where you're going. Get on down there, check them out, Salt Cycles. We were chatting with the guys from, is it Waxed? waxed. <laughs> That's how we do it? Okay, so tell us a little bit about the Waxed product. Yeah, so wax laces are the world's first wax paracord lace. Um, they make them out of paracord, so they're really durable, and we soak them in beeswax, so they're waterproof, flame retardant, rip shred and tear resistant. But the coolest thing is you can tighten each eyelet individually with varying pressure. So Let's look at that. Yeah, so when you pull right here, only this part tightens. This stays loose, this stays loose, and so you can really get a completely customized fit of tight, loose, tight, loose, or, you know, get the ankle loose or whatever you want to do. So. so you don't just grab the ends and pull it all the way up and the whole freaking thing tightens in places you don't like, right where your ankle bends and all that. You could tighten it just at the top if you wanted to and all that and a hole. Yep, exactly. Okay, and they also, obviously, not that you don't want to replace them because they look really cool. You could have different colors, but if you buy them, it's not like you're going to snap them anytime soon. No way. No, nope, not a chance. Paracord, it can withstand up to 550 pounds of tension, so not going to snap. So for the folks at home who may not know, paracord is parachute cord, right? Yep, that's right. It's used by the military for uh, parachutes. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now uh, if the folks at home want to learn a little bit more, how do they find out about you? Yeah, so you can go to our website, waxlaces.com, and you can also find us at www.don't.ski. <laughs> Gonna have to explain that. Why don't dot ski? Um, I mean, why do dot ski? I would ask you. Know. <laughs> Some people like skiing. No, it is true. It's it's good, but I mean, they don't use our laces, so. But they could. They could. They if they had a boot like that. If they had a boot like this. I mean, they'd be perfect for it. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, thank you.
University Credit Union, 16 locations from Bountiful to South Jordan. Local to Utah, loyal to you. All right, Bonaducci, you drug me out here. What are we doing? What I'm doing is giving you a taste of an interview I've got with the producer of The Jungle Book, Brigham Taylor. Ooh, in here? Yeah, let's He's go. He's in there. Well, my interview's in there. Let's go check it out. So that's one of those things where you didn't necessarily have to audition Bill Murray. You knew you wanted to. You don't him. audition Bill Murray. <laughs> no. You, you hope that Bill Murray, you know, auditions you and then <laughs> says yes. You know, when it finally reached his ears, it's a very unorthodox path to get any information from him anyway. Um, but when it finally did and we finally heard back, um, it was because he, I know Blue, I love Blue. I'd love to be Blue. Sure. And so um, luckily he, that was the way he felt about it. And, uh, and he really brought his A game for us. In many ways, he is blue. Like I, I, I think that, he is. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> the blue as conceived by Walt, because blue in the books, he's he's very different. And there's things we went back to the book for, tonally. And but then when we realized in creating this character of blue for our movie, we had to really draft, uh, you know, strongly from that carefree, Falstaffian guy who they put in '67. And you're right when you say who is that today, and who gets away with that kind of <laughs> enjoying life to the fullest? Yeah. That's Bill. Yeah. So that is just a taste of the interview I've got with Brigham Taylor, one of the producers of Disney's The Jungle Book, and Kent and I are gonna be talking about that this Friday, and we're gonna have the rest of that interview for you on the next show. Oh, good, there okay. Go. So, um, I, I didn't do very well with that. I could have just walked around. Yeah, you didn't do very well with a lot of things in there, but that's okay. Whoa. Oh yeah, there was the climbing wall. There was the climbing wall. And, so and the paddle board that you didn't try. Well, after the climbing wall, I sort of felt that, that shouldn't, I shouldn't do anything more. I and agree. I had the shakes. I had to do it twice, remember? That's why you needed the energy drink. It helped. That, that, that seriously helped. I think that's how I'm alive right now because I was like, so here's what happened. Competition Holly started and then Fear Holly took over midway through and then Knowledgeable Holly the second time just was a mess. Competition were, Holly is a wuss. Competition Holly rocked until, today I, she didn't. until I looked down and then I was like, oh yeah, Holly's scared of heights this year. Wow, I sound like I'm a scary person with multiple personalities. <laughs> well, why doesn't Holly close the show? Holly close okay, the show. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, the Adventure Gear Expo. We had a blast. We can't wait to come back next year, and we can't wait for the next thing we get to go out and about and have some fun. Yep, and a lot of this stuff happens at the Southtown Exposition Center in Sandy. We'll be here again. Get on their website and check out their calendar of events. Maybe we'll see you here. Have a great day, and be sure to tune in tomorrow. Okay, so what's so scary about that?